Alright, what's up Kitty Cats? My name is KG. I'm here today playing Sushi Cat, which is an which is an adorable little game where you are a big old fat cat and you like to eat sushi to become even fatter and bigger. It's like uh that other Japanese game, except you roll around. I can't remember what that one's called either. Alright, either. I just can't remember what that one's called. Um so I'm not going to play this whole game. I really hope you do enjoy it, though, I'm, as I'm going to say later when I end this video. But, uh, if, uh, yeah. Alright. So. I have a few things I want to talk about. For one, why, why am I playing this weird, weird Japanese game about a big old fat cat that likes sushi? And he wants to eat all, all the sushi in the world so he can become big and fat. Uh, and get that sweet, sweet girl, <laughs> the girl little plushie, because he doesn't understand. He's just a big old cat. He doesn't get the differences in the world. So, why am I playing this game? That's actually really simple. Um, this game is a big old nostalgia for me, a big old nostalgic game, along with like Super Mario 64, various other games along those lines. Um, but I absolutely love those these games, and uh, I wanted to, you know, come back and play something again, because I've been feeling a little bit, you know, under the weather, I haven't been, like, big and bubbly any, any time in the past recordings, that's because I've been getting real stressed out, and just, I've been unhappy. But I want to do more, and I feel, and it makes me feel good when I do fun, smiley games when I do this, when I like stuff like this, basically. So I thought, you know, I should do Sushi Cat because this is a game from my childhood. Oh, like I'm really into this game. If you <laughs> if you didn't know, uh, you probably didn't. Whatever, though. <laughs> um, I used to play this game a lot when I was in elementary school. It was one of the the few games that I'd play. It was, um, well, there was a lot of them, but this was, like, in early elementary school. Like, third, set, fourth, third, fourth, second grade. Around that that age, I was playing this game. It's pretty old, actually. But um, so this is one of the games. It was this and po this Pop Tropica, which I don't want to do on the channel, but I do also because I feel like it'd be super awkward. It's such a little, it's such a little kid game, and that's that's what I love about it. Oh, there was another game. I cannot remember what it's called, but I've been looking for this game for the, forever. It's just, it's such a cool game for sure that I'm thinking about. It's um, it's like a uh, a powder game. Uh, what what is it? It's whatever. Um, there's a bunch of different powders, and why it was super popular at my school was a uh, for one a big reason was we were young boys. Most of the people who'd play it was were boys, not cousin sexist or the game school whatever sexism basically. Uh, no. It was mainly because, you know, we just liked video games, and video games were more of a a, nor a social norm for boys to play back then, like in early 2000s, and like, you know, so the girls would still play them, but it was just more of a, a big old social norm that just boys play them, even though that's not right. Um, and a huge reason why we liked th that game so much was because, for one, we're like seven, six, eight, somewhere in between there, and 
it's basically a game where you can make, you can be for one really creative, but who wants to do that? Because there's explosive materials, like there's oil and gunpowder and um, C4 and uh, like acid, and then there were also little stick figures. And uh, a huge reason, a huge part of why the ga that game was so popular with everybody, all my friends basically, um, was full-heartedly, you could make bombs. That was just the coolest thing. You could make bombs, and then there were little stick figure guys that you would control, and they would... Um, they would fight each other, so basically they're fighting with each other in, like, a big old, uh, pool of gunpowder and, and, uh, <laughs> gunpowder and, like, oil and stuff, and, uh, you'd light, it, you'd light it all on fire, and everybody blows up, and it's encased in, um, C4, so the explosion's even bigger, so then all the little guys are blown up to pieces. So cool when I was a little kid. Just so cool. And that's one of the games... Oh, let me shut up now. Yeah, uh, it was so cool back then, and that was a huge part of my early childhood, the, this game and that game, um, I, I still have memories from playing with my friends on them, with them on this game, uh, yeah, so that's, that's why I love this game so much, and, uh, just what, why I'm playing it. It's also a really big, like, f just feel good game. Because you're just a big old cute fat cat. Like, who does not think, oh, he's so cute, fat, chubby, and he's trying to get big so he can get a little girlfriend? Who, it's just the whole concept of this game is super cute. Oh. Sorry about that. Um. Did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, it's really funny when you think of, like, childhood games. Especially when you go back to them. I've played Pop Tropica, uh, a couple times. When I was, when I was in, like, eighth grade, I went back to try it again, because I was curious. Because I, it was, like, toward the end of eighth grade, so I was, like, 14, and... I was curious and everything, just trying to find nostalgia since that's when, that's when you start really starting to feel it, because you're realizing you're becoming an adult. Um, so, what was I, uh, yeah, so I played it a couple times, and it's super bad, there's a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff. Like, I went to Target recently, and... I saw they had a Pop Tropica game now, like it costs money to play it, which is just crazy. Ah, uh, yeah. Something else I wanted to talk about since I forgot where I was going with the last one. I think I made it. I think I made it to the end. Hopefully, it's really hard when you're playing a game like this. Um, it's so colorful, loud, bright, like, fantastic, uh, bombastic, and various other adjectives. Um, it's just so, it's really hard to focus on just one thing. I have it happen with a lot of things. I'm just a borderline ADD, so that's part of why I struggle with, uh, keeping sentences down. When there's a lot of stuff happening, but that I think that everybody everybody struggles with that. Uh, something I also want to talk about was just how it's so funny. I my channel's not that big as 
all you can see clearly. Uh, the people who are watching this. Uh, my channel's not that big, but it's my only successful channel. It's successful in the meaning of um, I have subscribers and there's a small, small percentage of them that actually watch my videos, which is better than every single other channel I've tried to make. Like, I, you know, I've tried to make a lot of channels, and I feel like that's part of growing up, too, in this era, not, not the earlier ones, like, 90s. I didn't, I was born in the 90s, didn't really grow up, per se, in the 90s, but I still grew around in the 90s. Um, since early 2000s, I'm still trying to recover from that, that mess. So, uh, it's really funny thinking back at what I've tried to do, um, and looking at other people who've been trying to make a channel too now. Like, I see so many people, like, talking to them, talking to each other about various things, like, um, you know, uh, like, oh, I want to start a channel because channels are super easy and they're super fun. They are super fun, not easy, though. I gotta say, I've struggled with multitasking everything, like, even just making the videos, sometimes you don't like what comes out of it, other times it just is in good in general, then also you have to, have to it, you, like, you want to make it as good as you can, but part of why that's so hard is because you're inexperienced and, but, and you want to just get good automatically so you do everything you can. I've tried that, I still try that, but I'm extremely inexperienced even though I have had this channel for two years. I've only been uploading for about a year. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Because once you do get into a rhythm, it really is much easier and it's really fun. And it's very much uh, worthy. Yeah, so to finish up what I was trying to say was, is, uh, when, uh, when I first was trying to make channels, which was a long time ago, like, I've been pretty much ever since the whole, you know, um, Let's Play idea came into concept, I've been trying to make channels, uh, which is really fun, funny, I mean, not fun because I, I still have memories with like my friends of uh, playing games there's a couple things there's a couple things I actually came up with that I want to someday if I get bigger and like actually have a little bit more you know talent with editing and a little bit more money so I could actually fully you know prepare everything uh, I'd love to actually try I think we end it right here. Thank you guys for watching. My name's been Kenichi, and I've been playing Sushi Cat. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, uh, favorite if you love it, dislike it if you hate it, uh, leave a comment, friendly or nice, I will respond to whatever. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow, or in like two days, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh,